welcome all this is yet next video in topology series in this we'll continue with examples of compact spaces and we'll see some theorems so let us start with example the interval open at 0 closed at 1 is not a compact interval now why it is not compact consider set containing intervals open at 1 by n closed at 1 so that n is natural number then this collection will serve as open cover for the interval but there exists no finite sub collection of this open covering which will cover the interval open at 0 closed at 1 and thus this interval will not be compact similarly open interval 0 1 is also not compact however the closed interval 0 1 will be compact we'll see how it is compact in upcoming videos but for now we'll proceed to theorems before which we'll see one property named as finite intersection property if we have a as family of subsets of space x then this collection will have finite intersection property if every finite sub collection of a has non empty intersection for example if we consider a family of subsets f1 f2 f3 so on such that fi plus 1 is contained inside fi that is nested family of subsets then this will be example of collection having finite intersection property now we'll see one theorem the space X will be compact if and only if every family of closed sets in X with finite intersection property has non-empty intersection. This means if F is any family of closed sets with finite intersection property, then we must have intersection of C alpha where all C alpha belonging to F non-empty. To prove this theorem, let us assume that X is compact space and let F is equal to collection of C alpha such so that alpha belongs to indexing set I be family of closed sets with finite intersection property. So now what will be our claim? Intersection of all the members of F is non-empty. So assume on contrary that the intersection is empty and let us consider some set O is equal to O alpha which is equal to X minus C alpha where alpha is from indexing Z. Then this collection O will be collection of open sets in X and also we have union of O alpha will be equal to union of x minus c alpha which we can further write as x minus intersection of c alpha and as we have considered intersection of c alpha to be empty so we will have x minus empty set which will be equal to x so what we got union of o alpha is equal to whole space x that means collection o is open covering of space x and as x is compact space we must have finite subcover that is we must have union of finitely many open sets in O equal to space X. That is X is equal to union of O alpha I's for I is equal to 1 to N. Which we can further write as union of X minus C alpha I's where I is equal to 1 to N. And which we can further write as X minus intersection of C alpha I's. So what we got X is equal to X minus intersection of C alpha I's for I from 1 to N. This means intersection of C alpha is must be empty. But this will contradict to the fact that F has finite intersection property. Thus, if F has finite intersection property, then the intersection of all members of F must be non-empty. 